If you sell customized print-on-demand products, especially on Etsy, then this is going to blow your mind. If you already offer customized products, you know what a pain it is to have to go edit every single design file after you get an order, re-upload it to Printify, and then attach it to your order. What if there was a way to automate it? And using AI, now there is. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, when I'm talking about customized order, a customized order is where a user or your buyer is able to input, say, their name, a date, or something that is specific to them into that design. So it's not a one size fits all type of design. They get to add something to make it their own. So for example, something like this, where you have part of the design that does not change like the teacher, but they have a line like right here, Mrs. Smith, that they can change to be their own name. Right now, if you sell a product like this, every single time you get an order, you're gonna have to go back into your design file, edit it, resave it, re-upload it to Printify, but let me show you new automated way to do that. Say hello to hellocustom.io, a brand new platform that was designed to connect with your supplier and your selling channel. So for me, that is both Etsy and Printify and have them speak to each other so that we can create personalized orders without us having to go back and edit our design file. Hello Custom uses AI to actually create these listings. And even if your customer puts in something kind of silly into the bar, because sometimes people don't listen to your instructions, the AI will read through it and try to understand which part of the personalization that they actually want. And then it'll send it into an approval queue so you can actually check these all before sending them to print just in case something mixes up, but I haven't had any issues so far. So let me show you how this platform works by actually doing a listing together and I'll put through a fake order so that we can see the whole process all together. So I created this design in Canva, Camp Batch 2023, and I want the 2023 to be the customizable part where this bachelor party can put in whatever date they are doing their camping bachelor for. Because I only want the 2023 to be customizable, I did make sure it was in a separate text box. So Camp Batch is all in one, and then I separated the 2023, but it all kind of just looks like one sentence when put together. Together. And for this, I'm going to need to save it as both a PDF and a PNG file with transparent background. So for this, we're actually going to start in Printify. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our product first with our static PNG file. So you're going to upload the PNG, upload it to whatever product on Printify you want this to be on. I'm doing the Bella Canvas 3001 t-shirt and you can go ahead and pick your colors. For simplicity's sake, I am just doing white today. And then you're going to save product. Once you are in here, you're gonna scroll down and we need to go find our SKUs. So our SKUs are here and we need to connect these with Hello Custom so they know which products to print our orders on. So we're just gonna pause here, keep this tab open, and then we're gonna go back to Hello Custom. Once you get to Hello Custom and you connect both your Etsy and your Printify account, or again, whatever selling platform you're using, with your supplier. Not everyone is hooked up with Hello Custom yet, but Printify is, and that's usually what I talk about. So it works very well. And what we're gonna do under templates is hit add new template. Once we get here, we're gonna upload that PDF version that we had saved from Canva. And then we're going to get to a page like this. You're gonna just give it a title, something you'll remember. I'm just calling mine Camp Batch. And then we need to add in all of these SKUs from Printify. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our Printify listing and start copying those. So we're just gonna move back over tabs and under the small white, I'm just gonna click it here. It's gonna bring this little drop down, and you can just copy the SKU here, command copy, and then move back to Hello Custom and just place that line in. So I just went through and copy and pasted all of those in. If you have more colors, there's gonna be more SKUs. Make sure you're grabbing all of them and make sure that you didn't cut off any of the characters while you are copying pasting, because if it doesn't match exactly, then the linking is not gonna know which product to print and it just won't work. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to tag this and the tagging tells Hello Custom what part of this is customized. What their AI did is they were trying to detect what was text. And if I click on 2023 here, they're gonna notice this is text. You can see because you're gonna get this align, you can edit it a little bit, you can't change what it says. But when you have this selected, we're gonna move over to tag, and then we're gonna put what type of customization this is, and this one is going to be a date. So I'm gonna select date, and then we're going to publish. Once that's set up, you're gonna go back into Printify, and you're going to publish your Printify listing as well. 
And then once it syncs with Etsy, you're going to find your Printify listing in Etsy. And then you need to go reopen up that listing within Etsy, add in your mockups, add in your SEO, but something that's different here is we want to also turn on personalization. So if you scroll down, usually right under the variations, the sizes and colors, you're gonna see personalization and you're going to hit the toggle on. I already had it on because I was just testing beforehand for you guys. And you're gonna make sure that it is not optional. People need to put in the date. So for me, you're gonna put in what instructions of type of text they need to type in. So whether it's their name, their teacher's name, a year, a date, whatever it is. But for this one, I just wrote enter the year and then I'm going to save that. So now when people go to check out on your Etsy listing, this is what they're going to see. So you, they're gonna be able to pick their size, but they also have to enter the personalization. All right, now I published that and I actually went into another account and I made sure I used a different address just to put in a test order. And I ordered this product for myself and within minutes, this was showing up within Hello Custom. And you can see the 2023 no longer exists. And now it is 2020, which is what I had put into that personalization box when I placed my order. And because everything looks good, I'm just gonna hit approve. And then I did have to wait about an hour or two for Printify to pick up the order as well, because that's just kind of the nature with Printify, whether it be an Etsy non-customized order or customized order. But this did show up within Printify, the order was going through same as all my other orders, but if I open the file, that brand new design file that Hello Custom created was in there. So the only thing that took some time was really copying over the SKUs, but given I don't usually put in too many color options, it should only take you a few minutes to move those all over. And in the long run, if this becomes a selling product on Etsy, this is going to save you tons of time because a lot of people don't do customized orders because it does take this extra time, making it a little bit less passive than people would like. Versus now with this new tool, the only thing we have to do once it's set up and we get an order is hit approve and it's automated, automated like all our other orders. Again, do keep in mind that for the personalization part of this, use a simple font and don't add text effects like a curve, don't add a grunge on top of it because it won't turn out the same. It does need to be a pretty plain font for this to work. But usually that is the case when it comes to the part of a design that is personalized. Now that I know that this exists, I have a bunch of designs that this would actually work really, really, really well for that I'm excited to start implementing to my store. And if you do choose to use Hello Custom, their pricing structure is pretty darn great. So if you don't have consistent sales right now, you can start up with the startup plan. And working with the startup plan, it means that you are not paying any guaranteed amount per month. So you're not paying like $7 a month just to use this. What you're doing is you're paying per design that goes through. Once you start making sales, you can start being billed more annually or monthly and then have a smaller amount that you pay per order. And that's the business for 25 US and then you only pay $29 per customized sale. If you get higher than that, which really congratulations, then you can reach out to them for enterprise. So this is a great way to get started because there is no monetary risk kind of when you're first starting in terms of if maybe that listing doesn't start selling and you can just upgrade as you go. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts and questions below and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks.